you believe a panda which eats bamboo its whole life is actually a carnivore? Uh, <laughs> now, my ancestors were partner with Chiyu. We were really carnivores! Nonsense. The earliest pandas look like this. I live in the warm southern jungles. There's plenty to eat. I could eat whatever I want. But the north got colder. Wild beasts might raid its house. What's that got to do with me? <laughs> your majesty, take your time. What a loser! Just being hospitable, understood? <laughs> Stay here anymore! To avoid competition, pandas migrated to the Tibetan Plateau. There were low shrubs and grass everywhere. Eating grass is fine. At least it's abundant. Hey! Leave some for me! What is this? Arrow bamboos are common in the plateau. Those animals can't gnaw through it. I grew up eating meat with sharp teeth. Nothing I can bite through. And my thumb is super handy! Like this, I can grab a bunch of bamboo leaves. <laughs> Finally food! But bamboo is low in nutrients, so pandas can't get full. That's why they just keep on eating. Oh, pandas really love bamboo! Oh no! There it is! Look! There's a bird killer! It's a repeat of Hender. The method is extremely cruel. He kills a prey and impales it on branches like an execution. But why? To make it easier to eat. <laughs> this is your try, the number one bird killer. I'm no ordinary bird. I eat meat. When I catch a big one, how can I eat without skewering? Uh, Who taught you that? Myself. I practice skewering leaves all for this day. And I can even do this. Hey there, come play. What oh, dear? Snap out of it. It's a trap. Frogs have very developed vocal muscles. They can mimic the sounds of other birds to lure prey closer. Now's the moment. Ah! Trix's relatives have blunt beaks, but Trix's beaks have sharp hook barbs that can pierce their prey's cause killing them quickly. I kill and skew it, and I keep killing and skewing. What do you know? The more I skew, the faster I can find a mate. And Shrikes with more prey are more attractive to females. <laughs> this bird looks good too. <laughs> Did you know? Beaks grow so fast because they've been tricked. Stop! That's impossible! It's true! Uh, Over 3,000 years ago, the ancestors of leeks were just wild plants. And when it's too cold and summer's too hot, I need to take a break! So back then, leeks only grew twice a year. Soon leeks met our ancient foodie ancestors. Huh? This flavor is really something! Ancient people fell in love with eating leeks. And then they realized... They grow slowly, it's not enough! So they started to treat leeks into producing more. Wow, I can hibernate! Oh, it's spring, huh? Wow, it's summer holiday? Mm, it's cool again! Ah! What season is it really now? And so, the ancients invented the earliest greenhouse so leeks could grow all year round. But still, it wasn't enough! I need even more leeks! So the ancients burned the soil in leeks, inventing the organic fertilizer, burnt soil and manure. After each harvest of leeks, they add more fertilizer. Well, there's food! Did you know the carp you eat has driven Americans crazy? In 1963, algae blooms flooded southern waters in the U.S. So they introduced carp from China and Southeast Asia. Clean up the algae, but what they didn't expect. They said carp could eat algae, but in fact, it eats everything! A carp can eat up to half of its body weight every day. Soon they grow into massive 1 meter long, 100 pound carp, and they breathe like crazy. Honey, this time is it twins? Oh, I got carried 200,000. The Asian carp quickly became an invasive species. To deal with them, the Americans first tried using nets to trap the fish in a fixed area. I'll starve you guys! But then, a huge flood destroyed the nets. Okay, guys, let's go! All the carp broke free, so the Americans decided to poison the rivers. I'll poison you all! But, but not only did the poison fail to kill the carp, it spilled off many local fish. What are you even doing? What? Idiot. We eat all sorts of stuff. We are immune to poison. Looks like we'll have to go for the big move. I will eat you! <laughs> are you surprised? My flesh is full of bones. It's not easy to eat. What's the part about it? It's only so vegetables. They're not being big enough. If they're not being big enough, then what is? Wait. Kids have more taste buds and are more sensitive. Aren't all tongues the same? Hi. Who are you? I'm taste buds. I'm in charge of flavors and reporting them to the brain. Bitter! Bitter, bitter, bitter! The more taste buds you have, the more information the brain receives, making you more sensitive to taste. Wait. Taste buds decrease as you grow up. Kids have about 10,000 taste buds, while adults have 5,000. The bitterness and vegetables seem stronger for kids. No wonder it tastes so bad. I'll just wait. Oh, when you grow up, eat. I won't. You must eat. I refuse. Oh, please help me out. Don't worry. Watch this. Pumpkin, cucumber, tomato, edamame, green peas, green beans. Blanch, add salt and sugar. Stir fry quickly and serve. Whoa, this is so delicious! Why does it taste good? Because these vegetables are sweet, small in size, and brightly colored. They're kids' favorites! When you're dieting, we eat salad for breakfast, we eat salad for lunch, at night, put everything in my salad! Sick of salad? Try these options instead. What's that? First, burgers. For dieting, you need more protein and less carbs. A burger has a big chunk of meat. About 25 grams of protein. Two small pieces of bread. Just the right amount of carbs. Out of side salad? Skip the sauce. You can eat and lose weight. What? Nonsense, I haven't lost weight! You didn't choose the right meat. Always choose lean meats like grilled chicken or beef. Not the spicy chicken leg because it's fried! 
but I can sleep without the spicy chicken leg burger. Try the duck leg rice. Take off the skin. Replace half the rice with vegetables. That's 20 grams of animal protein, 10 grams of plant protein, 40 grams of carbs, and 200 grams of vegetables. It's a perfect meal. It tastes awful. I want my spicy chicken. Wait, what else can I eat? Try Korean bibimbap. Just choose chicken, beef, or tuna. Little cabbage, fresh rice, and no extra oil. Or moldy grain pancakes without the crispy layer. Or malatang with less sesame paste and... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to the mall. We'll be spending no time. Did you know the clams are hard-working laborers? No way anyone has it harder than me! True, I could have spent my life doing nothing, living off the bounty of nature. Wow! This water is filthy! I'd rather start to death than open my shell today! Clams are sensitive to water quality. When there's any dirt, they contract their adductor muscles and snap shot until the water is clean again. Who doesn't have a little OCD? I... In 1994, a water treatment plant in Poland noticed a clams of sesame cleanliness. You're a clean freak. That's right! It's called self purification Wait, oh, stop! What are you doing? Wow, so responsive! You must be the chosen one! Number eight! What? Your ID number. From now on, this is your home. Polish workers handpicked eight clams that were most sensitive to water quality. They outfitted them with sensors. If the water gets dirty, so dirty that at least six stay closed for over four minutes on alarm triggers, and the water supply shut off. Ha ha ha! Aren't I just the smartest? Since then, Poland's water quality monitoring has been handled by these eight clams. Their daily job is... Uh, that's it! I'm going to quit! Come work for me instead! Uh, hey guys, I'm making salt and pepper shrimp! Oh. Uh, in fact, if you get cut by seafood! I'll just bandage it! It'll heal! It's just a cut from a shrimp! Why would I get amputated? Because of me! I'm Vibria Volnificus, a flesh-eating bacterium! I live in the ocean! I'm on shrimps, crabs, and oysters that you eat! When seafood cuts you, it enters your body through the wound and devours your cells. I'll eat your flesh and drink your blood! It causes redness and swelling. Severe cases can lead to amputation or even death! What about my immune cells? They are useless against me! Your flagella act like tails, helping them adjust direction and move freely. It also has sticky pill eye to navigate complex human bodies. Ever seen a speedster? It's armored with a capsule that defends against drugs and immune attacks. Like an impenetrable shield. It loves iron that is found in the blood. Eating iron makes me grow faster, reproduce more, and get stronger. I can travel anywhere in the body. There's nothing that can stop me. <laughs> oh, no, help me, please. Always wear gloves. Cook seafood thoroughly. If you get cut, don't panic. Squeeze out the blood and disinfect with alcohol. But if it stays red and swollen, go see a doctor immediately. No, one kind of fish is especially silly. It often lies on the water's surface, so it's also known as Starfish! What are you doing? So what? Uh, I'm just sunbathing. Look, there are plenty of parasites. They might get into my eyes, but as long as I, uh, I stay fresh, all over and can enjoy the heat of the sun. Do you want to get roasted? <laughs> Swim faster, you'll die! It can't swim fast. Its tail fin has degenerated. Other fish can swim fast with their tails, but it only has a big head. It swims half a meter per second. Don't worry, my skin is seven centimeters thick. There are also tiny teeth on it. No one can bite through. <laughs> my skin doesn't have nerve endings. Even if I get bitten, I won't feel pain at all. But if I still die! My meat is bland and a little tough to chew. This fish is not delicious! Those who can't kill me will only make me stronger. I'm going to make a lot of baby fish. About 300 million baby fish. My stomach will burst! <laughs> Don't eat food on an empty stomach, it will cause stones to form! Okay! When you say it, what auntie means by sour is a tannic acid in fruit. When I enter your stomach, I combine with stomach mucus to form tannic acid proteins. Which combines with the fruit's pectin fiber and other substances, turning into stones. It's not stones now! However, if you want to get stones from eating apples, probably we have to eat a lot. Because, let's take persimmon as an example. To get stones, you need to eat 3 to 4 on an empty stomach for 2 to 3 days in a row. So apples, which have more lower tannic acid, are fine to eat one on an empty stomach. Big fruits are hard to digest. How will you have space for your meal? Mom, I have a big stomach! So smooth! Let me try it! That's <laughs> terrible! Hard and not sweet! That's because we are not bread yet! Think that was little mom told me! Only when we write it will people like us! Rebellious! Why don't you listen to mama? Big guavas are climacteric fruits! When you're picked the enzymes that help us arrive in heaven! Get in yet! I can only breathe hard! 30 times harder than others! <laughs> Ethylene when they breathe, and the more ethylene, the faster the enzymes work. They break down cell walls and they start into sugar. The enzymes need time to work. For freshly picked green fruit, keep it in a bag and place it in a dry spot for a week. It'll turn light yellow and develop a creamy texture. It's so delicious! Oh no! 
only then can I become the fruit everyone enjoys! But even if you're not soft or sweet enough, I still love you! These chili salt or sour plum powder for a refreshing taste! Still, soft is the best! How to pick a durian in one minute! First step, check the spikes! Pick the round and plump with sparse spikes! I'm so sweet and stylish, why would you pick this ugly one? My flesh is plenty, so the outer parts are spread out! So what? You're not even ripe! How do you know that? Wait, I have one more trick! Second step, smell! I have a fresh and grassy aroma, a sign of my freshness! You're not right. And no. This one has a rich, fragrant smell. It's perfectly ripe! If it smells like alcohol, that's better! That's overripe! Final step, squeeze! An unripe durian shell is still hard. If it's ripe, the shell is softer. The spikes can be easily squeezed together. It means it's ripe! Son, bring me the meat! The meat, meat that's been frozen in the fridge for a year! Yeah. Yeah. The meat might be contaminated with bacteria! It's frozen? Where would bacteria come from? It's true! The meat wasn't sterilized or vacuum sealed, so it's easy for bacteria to get in. While freezing can inhabit most bacterial growth, but it doesn't work on them. It's me, psychopelic bacteria! I am freeze resistant! I thrive on the nutrients in meat! No low temperature can stop my reproduction! <laughs> oh no, I'll throw it away! Don't throw it! Cook it thoroughly, then it's safe to eat! Sure. That's wrong! High temperature can kill bacteria, but not the harmful substances they produce. This can cause fever, vomiting, diarrhea, blood infections, or encephalitis. What do we do? Stop less, eat fresh, then buy more! And leftovers? Make sure to eat them within their shelf life. When you crack open a double yolk egg... Whoa! I'm so lucky! When you crack open ten double yolk eggs... <laughs> Spreading rumors! Double yolk eggs are actually scared out of the hens. No kidding, of course they're scars! Yeah, I said scared! Experienced hens can regulate their ovulation signals, releasing one yolk at a time and laying normal eggs. But us newbie hens can't do that yet! I've just learned how to lay eggs, I don't have experience! If I get startled while laying, it's easy to make a mistake! Hey! Why are you here? It's not your turn yet! I didn't know! Are you going or not? Pick that move yeah. over! Come on, hurry up! Startled hens might release two yolks at once. Covered by egg whites and shells, they form double yolk eggs. Such mistakes are common among newbie hens. If the fright is too severe, the hen might even lay a yolkless egg. Or... A double-shelled egg! Oh, help me lay a normal egg! egg. This is abalone expensive? 31 in total. When did it get this cheap? The price dropped long ago. Abalone production in Fujian has increased, so prices have gone down. That's all my teacher taught me! Kids, listen up. Being picky is a blessing. Unclean water, I die. Wrong temperature, I die. No, clean thoroughly to keep water quality. We'll travel to avoid bad climate. Sir Abalone, please board the ship. Remember, being picky is a blessing. We're ridiculous. We are human. How can we let Abalone control us? What's your plan? Sir Abalone, here are the girls from all over the country. Hey, honey. This is outrageous! But their glory days are numbered. With genetic modification, I've combined the best genes from them, breeding the strongest, most disease-resistant strain, and I've selected heat-resistant abalones. Enjoy hardship to stand out as the king of abalone. Now fishermen don't need to travel! That's great! How despicable! We were so noble! How have we fallen to this day? I'll eat you later!